Yeah, no, we had a real good third, obviously. We had a lot of chances, and Gibson's a real good goalie in there, and he made some key saves and that. But uh, fortunately for us, we got a chance to tie it up and then uh, get the big winner in overtime. So good game for us overall. Uh, thought, like I said, the first sec first and second were, you know, okay. Both teams were trade trading a few chances, but not a lot happening. I think this might, I could be, might be correct, but I think it's 20 back wins along those lines for your team this year. Mm -hmm. And again tonight, you're down late, you know, midway through the third, find a way to get that goal. What is it about this group? Why? Like, why? Well, I, I think the skill levels there, the talent levels there, and. You know, like I said, they're never going to quit. A 3-2 game in your own building, and, you know, you're getting a lot of chances, a lot of shots. So I, they felt comfortable, you know. We feel comfortable playing those games. I wish we were up by two goals at that point, but, you know, you find a way. And like I said, when you're, you're having a good year like we're having, you, you find a way to win those games sometimes. you think maybe Fox seemed a little fresher tonight, seemed to have a little Foxy, I thought he was, yeah, he was really good tonight. He he got back to his game and felt pretty good out there, and uh, you could really see the difference in him. Played really good. Brodzinski had what you wanted to see from the third line. It seems like he's making some Yeah, he's playing great. Play yeah, no, he's playing great. He's killing some penalties for us, and uh, obviously that goal was a, it was a great shot. I mean, he made a terrific shot on a good goaltender, and, uh, but he's doing a good job. He's forechecking. He's fast out there. You know, he's very noticeable every shift he's on the ice. It seems also the last more authority. Yeah. He's moving the puck quicker, getting him back, jumping. Yeah, I really like his game. We talked about it after the Dallas game. I thought that was his best game of the, of the year for me. I mean, I thought he played a good, strong physical game, uh, did everything with the, strong with the puck. And, and again, tonight he looked really good. He looks confident, and that's going to be real key for for us. Sorry, you've answered this, but mm -hmm. power play comes up big tonight. Just how great is it that you can? Yeah, the first couple was this, you know, the Mika missed it out a few, and the, the ones he usually hits the net, and he missed a couple chances. So the execution wasn't great a few times, but uh, for Cries to get that big one to tie it up was huge for us, no doubt. Do you feel like Georgie early in the game, a couple of those saves got him going a little bit too? Yeah, it makes him feel good. I mean, to touch some pucks and that, and it's unfortunate that, you know, the first goal goes off her body, and then the second goal, he didn't see it at all. I mean, one of our guys screened him out high, and there was traffic at the net. So I thought he would look good and look solid and look comfortable tonight, and that's a good sign for him. Well, how much fun was that finish? Yeah, that was great. It was exciting. It was nice to get one late, and uh, obviously uh, a nice OT win for us. So as you're heading up ice, you're at the back end of a long shift three-on-three. Are, are, are you asking for the puck, or do you know there's a good chance you're going to get it from uh, Brad? Yeah, I know there's a good chance. He'll at least make the right decision, uh, whether it be to shoot. But we've we've done a lot of two-on-ones in practice, been on the receiving end of those. Uh, so I uh, just kind of stopped up, uh, and he found me, and then just tried to put it on the net, and I uh, was fortunate it went in. And again, I talked to assistant coach Gordon Murphy between periods. He thought the trip and the travel home might have had some effect, but you thought maybe the penalties were part of the first two periods? Yeah, I think it could be a little bit of both. Uh, you know, you'd have a long road trip, guys coming back, maybe they're not feeling uh, their best, but uh, I mean, we played hard, I think, uh, you know, especially in that third period. We, uh, we were, seemed like we were all over them. And, uh, but, yeah, it definitely could get, you know, a little sloppy start. But penalties also could ruin your, your flow a little bit. But, uh, you know, it works in your favor, too, and you get power plays and are able to capitalize and get you a little bit more momentum. Well, when you continue to be resilient, I guess you're always going to be asked the question, what's with the resiliency? Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's obviously, uh, you know, I don't want to say a repetitive question for our group. I don't think we think of it of let's be resilient we just are a confident group I think uh, we believe in each other and no you know we're never down and out of a game I think we've showed that a lot this year so uh, yeah I mean resiliency is a, a great word to describe it but I think we're just confident in our abilities and what we're able to do and heading down the stretch now that you know we're turning the corner here with the weather and uh, you know spring and playoffs what continues to be, what will continue to be the mandate for your club I think just playing good hockey. I think we've put ourselves in a really good position, you know, at the start and and throughout here. And uh, you know, obviously, we want to be playing our best hockey come around that playoff time and and come April. I think uh, you know we don't want to dip off or be inconsistent. I think we want to be rolling uh, come that time. And we've done a good job so far, and just got to keep that going.